everyone, welcome to today's crafting program. My name is Dabney, I'm the Young Adult Librarian with the Twin Lakes Libraries and I use they them pronouns. For today's program, we are going to be making an Among Us plushie. So this is a larger one that I made um, and <laughs> this is what we're doing at the library today in person, but you can always come by and make one at the Hancock branch. We've got lots of um, fabric and anyways, this is this is my little little crewmate. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this was like really fun to make. It did take a little while, um, just because it's larger. But for today's program, we're gonna make a teeny tiny version. Um, we're gonna make one with felt, and um, yeah. And so I'm gonna show you all how to sew, and we're gonna do that. So like once you learn how to sew, I mean, it's, it's all wide open for you. <laughs> There's so much you can do. So first, we're going to start. We've got our thread and thread our needle, which just means um, you're putting the end of your thread through the eye of the needle, pulling it through. And I'm going to cut off a, mm, not that much. I'm going to do the face plate first, so I'm not going to do too much. And I'm just going to pull this to its equal at the top. And then um, we're going to knot it. So I like to um, go through there. I always like to do like at least a double knot. That way it's not going to get pulled through. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it down and we'll get to sewing. So I, let's see, I just put my little um, face plate here. If you had some pins, you could pin it into place, which is probably what I should have done. But here we are. So just sticking the needle through the back and pulling till your knot is cut. And then what you're going to do is um, I'm just going to do a stitch right down here over the gray, pulling it through. And let's see, like that. So just kind of moving your needle around, sticking it up through here, pulling. One thing you might want to look in the back is to make sure it's the string is pulling all the way through. And you know, if if you're having a hard time initially, just keep trying. Um, I think I learned to sew maybe when I was in elementary school. I was really young. Um, I guess my mom taught me, but I like to make. Um, I don't know, I had like miniatures and I like to make clothes for all the little animals and um, I don't know, I've always been into like arts and crafts I guess. <laughs> so anyways, but I haven't really done much sewing um, as an adult unless like I was working on some cosplay or um, doing a library craft program. Though I did get really into cross stitch last year, not last year, the years blur together these days, but I think in 2020 I got really into it. Um, I was listening to a lot of audiobooks at the time and making um, cross stitch projects for people just for fun, like for Christmas presents and stuff. So for me, sewing can be pretty relaxing. And it's nice when you're done to kind of take a look at your final project. And, you know, it's like, wow, I just totally made something. 
But we're getting started um, with this Among Us plushie because I feel like the design for this, for the crewmate, is really simple. And if you mess up, like, you know, if it's not perfect, that's okay because the design is, you know, not like the most refined thing ever, right? So this is what we've got so far. And somebody asked, like, have I played this? And um, I have not. <laughs> I, as I may have mentioned before, I'm not really a gamer. Um, and, but I think it's really fun. Like, I thought the game, the concept sounds really fun. And um, I have read, like, fan comics that are based on the game. So some people um, created, like, like OCs, original characters, who are, like, crewmates and imposters and then wrote comics about them and kind of gave them, like, you know, a, a more human, like, human appearance instead of just, like, this, this little... Um, design and they were really uh I like them a lot I think the one artist I was following did like three different stories and so I kind of felt like I had played the game without playing the game okay I ran out of thread so um back here just cut right up there by your needle and then we're gonna tie this off And then you can trim down here. Okay, so that's how it's going so far. And get some more thread. So each of your um, take home craft bags, this is a take home craft, by the way, is gonna have um, a needle, thread, and then your felt pieces that are already going to be cut out for you. So all you have to do is sew it. Um, and let's see. I'm trying to figure out. I might have like make a little sewing kit for each one. I don't know. When I was a kid, I always liked... Um, had like a little tiny sewing kit just like really basic but I thought it was like the coolest thing as I mentioned I liked miniatures <laughs> um I, I had so much stuff and it was all very small and I was like this is the best um I used to collect like a lot of things I don't know if y'all collect stuff I don't so much anymore um, and you know, part of it is like, like the expense, um, oh, I totally forgot we're going to put some stuffing in here. Hold on. I'm just sitting here talking. Let me just, yeah, there's, there's room. Let me grab some stuffing real quick. I forgot to say your kit's also going to have stuffing in them. Stuffing. Got this last night at Walmart, so we're just going to. This is so the little face plate is going to poof out a little bit. So you can just kind of push it in there as best you can. Got some. All right, now we are going to sew this closed. Yay. So my um, original Among Us plushie has um, shredded paper for stuffing because I didn't have any stuffing on hand at the time. And I always love to like reuse and recycle stuff. So I was like putting shredded paper in there. 
which it has like kind of um, it's it's a heavier obviously material than stuffing and it's kind of squishy and crunchy um, <laughs> so I don't think it would work well for everything like a pillow for example but um, for that little thing it was fine okay so we're gonna tie this off And so we've already been doing this for like almost 10 minutes. Just to give you an idea of how long this project will take. It is a longer one. But I think if you stick with it, you'll enjoy it. So there we go, little front front piece. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is get started on this sewing around the edge and I think I'm actually gonna pause the video um, a few minutes in and then pick it up once I've finished um, doing the edge oh I forgot we have to do the backpack too. the backpack is honestly the hardest part um, so Trying to decide if we should do that. Um, we should just go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah. But then I'll um, pause it and sew around the edge. Okay. So the backpack, you know what? You can you can take it or leave it. Depends on how important it is to you that your um, crewmate has a backpack. I'm actually going to cut um, little slits here. And you'll see why in a second. By the way, I'm using fabric scissors, and um, when you're doing this craft, I mean, I don't think most people have fabric scissors at home. I do, just because I have done projects like this before. But if you don't have them, you're really going to want the sharpest scissors you've got. Um, and that's for cutting fabric. For honestly, for cutting um, thread, any little old scissors will do. Like um, the ones in the kits, they're just tiny, and they get the job done. Also, if you're like I cannot even with this sewing business, um, there is such a thing as fabric glue, which can just glue pieces on and go for it okay so for this um, this top flap I'm kind of folding it in and then it's gonna go here at the top so this is a little bit different okay so I'm gonna put my needle through this top part of the fabric at the back, pulling it through, and then we're going to, um, hopefully you can see, stitch a little bit back here, like that, and then this, that took it across, and then we're going to stitch a little bit up here. These are some big stitches. <laughs> um, another one at the top. Stitch like that. And then another one at the back. Oh no. So I'm gonna pull these tight. This is not like the world's best stitching right here, okay? But, um, like I said, if you, if it's not perfect, that's fine. It doesn't have to be. 
this is called ladder stitching and I'm not so you know if you want to go like look it up on YouTube and see somebody who does like a better tutorial than me um, please do all right then on this side we've got um, So I'm kind of folding this fabric in. Pull it tight so all the things go there. Okay. Just do your best. <laughs> so yeah, this is something I learned, and um, when I was like kind of trying to figure out how to do this, and I'm like not the best at it, but that's okay. I'd actually have to finish this backpack, um, like pause it and finish. This video is going to be like so long otherwise. Okay, then down here, I'm going to um, fold this down. This is where, you know, honestly, having those pins would probably help. <laughs> This stitch got pulled way over here. You know what, I'm actually going to stop ladder stitching and start doing that original stitch I was doing. Because um, it's faster, I feel like. And this is my project. <laughs> so. But yeah, um, your take home crafts is, you know, you. It's kind of luck of the draw as far as like what color you get for your crewmate. Um, but if you like want to make this and you have a specific color you want to do, you can always come to the Hancock branch and pick up materials or you could um, sew this at any time or try your hand at a different sewing project. We have... Um, some like cross stitch kits here if you want to learn how to do that. Um, I 
need to see about, I have a sewing machine at home, I need to see about bringing that back. Because, you know, if you ever wanted to, if y'all ever wanted to do, like, a bigger um, craft project, you can do that. Okay, so let's put um, some stuffing in the back. So we're going to just put this in here and fold this down. Y'all heard um, Kevin come in. He was coming to drop some stuff off at the branch, and I'm not open yet. Um, so. almost done with the backpack and then I'm going to sew these two pieces together like pause the video sew the two pieces together and then bring y'all back to see the finished product because this is taking so long so yeah I think the whole project would probably take you at least 30 minutes to do um and more if this is your first time sewing, because you know you gotta kinda learn how to do it. I sort of now wanna go back and do the stitch around the whole thing, but I probably won't. Um, but just to see, show you kind of how it looks on the back, um, the ladder stitching, which you can still see, um, or the stitching, and it looks like that. <laughs> Yeah, ladder stitching is not is not my like skill as of yet, but I'm gonna get there. So we'll tie this and be back in just Two pieces going together. I will probably um, add some pins around the edge while I'm sewing and so I can get my stuff in there. But see you soon. Hey, so we're back. Okay, this is um, our final finished product. Um, little doo -doo 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 -doo, squishy. So not very big compared to this one. Um, but yeah, that's basically our craft. Um, if you wanted to make this into a keychain, that's pretty easy. Um, you know, you could just sew um, like a little piece of um, ribbon or something to either from like the backpack, like you could stick the ribbon in there when you're sewing up here, so sew the ribbon in and have the loop at the top and put um, a little key ring on there, something like that. So I'll just add that to the craft bags in case you want to do that. But yeah, that's it. Um, and you know, if you have materials at home and you want to customize your crewmate and add some little things to um, set it apart, you can do that. But yeah, hopefully you will get a chance to make this and 
um, learn a little bit about sewing. And again, if you ever want to sew some things, do some crafts, come to the Hancock Branch, get into our maker space corner. Um, we're always happy to help you with that. But yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.